Welcome back, this is that guy, right? And this is Parasite Eve. In the last episode, well, last string of episodes, because I didn't have these timed, and I didn't... You, you know the feeling. We dealt with an actress named Alyssa. She turned into Eve. She turned a bunch of harmless animals into monsters. Sent them after us. And we fought them. Then she got away. So let us continue the investigation and pursuit of Eve. Daniel, hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. I wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I must have been gathering some information about Melissa. I got no relatives. No close friends. She was sick. Often, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. Well, what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't really sp spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Well, come on. What, like, one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, you know? Well, I'm not buying it. Well, I, you're right. Well, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I have the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. I heard your report still. Hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're gonna, gonna go out to solve this case, make sure you're well equipped. Go on to what, Mr. Parton, and give this permit to Taurus. He'll help you out. Alright. Gotta go down to the thing, and is my microphone on this time? Yes, it is. Good thing. I should have checked that earlier. Alright, this is the uh, main office where the flat footed cops work. Go in here. This is the locker room. Can't really get much in here. It's just simple armor. So, and for some reason, uh, the emulator, this emulator likes to chug in that room. I learned that the hard way. And here's the here's the weapons room. Well, where Taurus works. Whee! Oh, sorry. Hey, babe. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Taurus? That baldy? Who knows? She will be. Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Wayne! Y yes, sir. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, yee. Taurus, I need some equipment. Well, last night's case, I heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But here this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty ha empty handed. Yeah, you get all the girls. And that goatee. Here, that's the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. The M sixteen A one. Captain Baker already notified me. We show me your modification permit again. All right. Which gun? Let's do our newest gun. All right. Just wait here. I'm Batman. I'm really Batman. Oh. <coughs> All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns on you. Hey, don't tell Taurus, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. And here comes the tutorial. Using a tool item, you can add and remove parameters and added effects to you on your weapons or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. 
The number, of, the number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your weapon equipment modified at the NYPD Weapons Department. You got it? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. But of course, you can't use them without bullets, but you better make sure you have your club. Just in case, you know. Now why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Alright, let's store some items. Alright, let's... We don't need that. And we don't... Oh. Gotta move it over here. Don't need that. There we go. And... No, okay. I'm not gonna discard. Check in here. There's a tool. Our first tool. That we can actually modify our weapons, which is what that tutorial was about. Let's go upstairs. Well, first, I'm gonna show you. Right here is the kennel. Not, let's not go in there quite yet. Some things will be happening in there soon. Let's go upstairs. And there's a little kid over here. Hi there, you lost. Ah, uh, Daddy. So this is Ben. Daniel, this is I. Now what are you doing here? Here. Tickets. Oh, oh yeah, the concert. Sorry, son. Yeah, he's real busy today. I was make it up. Bye. Hey, Ben. I'm gonna go hunt a mature mass cartridge right now. I'll show you, and I'll be the best ghost ever. You guys ever kid needs a mother? That's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah. Yeah, well, his mother is still alive. Fuck you, Dad. I don't like you. Oh, Hold on. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's go this way. I don't like you. Let's go to the office. I like I like the music of the department here. It's like pretty nice. Kind of ambient. Sir? <clears throat> you were looking for me? Ah, yes. We're having a press conference right now, and I want you there, too. <laughs> me? All right. You go on the national television as a sole survivor of the incident. <laughs> I see. But you can only answer when I ask you. <laughs> I mean, he's just looking for anything to grill us about. And even turning you into a suspect. So you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Alright, let's go meet the press. <coughs> so, reporter, you're saying that this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about the accounts of officers of firemen at the scene busting in the flames? That was... That was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. <laughs> Another question. Then how did Detective Brass survive without so much of the Maya burn? <laughs> that was her job very quick, taking and training as an officer. <laughs> I'm asking her the question. Or she. She said it was my mitochondria that were a mutation. I hold your tongue. Yeah, mitochondria. Hmm. Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. Uh, according to our report, Melissa Paris was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What kind of th What is this Eve? Some kind of an alien? Mm. Wait! Fable! 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 
get very tired and still investigating. I'll be off for today. Baker, I I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. I'm not that point. Well, I was gonna believe you. I we only start off an agent cause people to panic. I there, she was only ring, 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 ring. Biker, I'll put him there then. This is Captain Baker. What? For me? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. He was saying something about Mido or something. He said he's coming over here. Mido? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Mm, I heard that about that in school. That's what Eve said, said. That it was time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I just read that some research in the museum wrote a new theory on them. I'm just not yet to talk to this researcher. No. Better get it before that media. It may explain the phone call too. <coughs> <coughs> yes, sir. Come on, Aya. <coughs> she got a cute booty. <coughs> Alright, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Next time, we should be going to the museum and maybe get into the uh, Central Park area. Alright, so that guy on the right, signing off. <coughs>